Hey, this is Mike Ass. Thanks for joining me. It's always a pleasure to bring you these videos. So I'm going to do a quick video. These, these videos are only like six minutes, okay? So hang to the very end. They're not that long. And sometimes the good stuff is right at the very end. So this is about a simultaneous close on a real estate transaction. What's a simultaneous close? Let me bring you back a few years to how I started this program. I started looking at these uh, real estate gurus. Carlton Sheets was the guy. So I'm, I'm, it's like seven hours worth of video or audio. They didn't have video back then. Long story short is I decided if I'm gonna buy real estate, why can't I make money when I buy it, not when I sell it? Why can't I buy and close on the deal the same day and make money when I purchase the property? How do you do that? That's called a simultaneous close. And it also involves no money. So here it is, I'm gonna give it to you in six minutes or less. Number one, you gotta find a property at at least 70% loan to value, which means it has to be at least 30% below the appraised value, that's number one. Number two, you can't just go to Zillow. You have to find an appraiser that says, yeah, that number makes sense. Why? Because appraisers are what banks loan money off. They don't loan money off of Zillow. They have an appraiser. I just paid for an appraisal, $465 to appraise a $1.2 million house that I'm sitting in, because I'm doing a refinance at 3.25, I think, okay? So you gotta find the property at the price, number one, and number two, you need to find a appraiser and get a soft appraisal, you give them 100 bucks. Once you have those two in hand, you can go to number three. Number three is you gotta find somebody who wants to buy the property from you. Usually it'll be an investor. Here's my story. So those are the top three. Okay, you gotta find the property at the price, 30% below, minimum. 25 would go, but 30% is my number. Two, you gotta get an appraisal to confirm your valuation. And number three, you gotta have an investor that'll buy it from you. I did like, I don't know how many properties I've done like this, maybe 50, 60, 70 properties, okay? This is the deal and this is how you cash out. So several years ago, I found a lady that didn't want it. That's number four, you want a don't want her. That's very important. You got the first three. Now the fourth one is somebody that doesn't want the real estate. They're dying. I had one guy that had cancer. He wanted to move back to, he's in Las Vegas, wanted to move back to Chicago and die with all the family. I had one person uh, that was getting going through the divorce. This is this lady. So the house is worth 400,000. I'm buying it 30% below the 400,000. I got to buy it at 280. 30% from 400,000. Three fourths is, is 120 grand. So that's 280. I got to put 10% down. Let's say 30. So I so I'll have a loan at 250. The $30,000 I loan from a hard money lender. I call them loan sharks. They call them the nice words is a hard money lender. How did I find him? That's number five. You got to find the down money. So the down money usually comes from a hard money guy. That's a guy that'll give you money, he's gonna charge you 10% even if you loan it for a day. It's a ridiculous amount. But you'll see in the end, that's how you make the money. So I found that guy in the Las Vegas Review Journal. I'm li living in Las Vegas right now, at the time I was doing this deal. Then I had a guy, an investor, remember he's one of the numbers that we need. My investor wanted to buy one of my other small houses. I said, instead of buying the small house, why don't you buy this big house? And by the way, I'll get you the down money. So the 400,000, he's got to put 40. So I got to put down 30, he's got to put down 40. That's $70,000, the hard money guy, loan shark, we'll call him a hard money guy, gives us the 70 grand. Me to purchase and him to purchase from me. I'm buying it at 280. I'm gonna have a loan at 250. I'm selling it to him for 400, which is the actual appraised value. Why are they giving us this property it's such a great deal? Lady's going through a divorce. Mother owns the uh, is the real estate agent for the ladies going through the divorce. Two beautiful children. She hates the husband, soon to be the ex-husband, and she wants her daughter out of this house and to move out and move in with her in a big mansion in Las Vegas. She's a very rich lady. Plus, they own the house free and clear. She says. I don't care, I'll sell it to you at 30% off. I want it sold today. The market's a little soft. The houses are not flying out the door. So she's gonna get this deal done, get rid of the ex-husband, soon to be ex-husband, have her daughter and her grandchildren move in with her. And she really wants it done like right away. So number six, you gotta have a good mortgage broker, which I did, her name was Carol. So you got the one, two, three, four, five, six, is you gotta have a good mortgage broker. Bing, bang, boom. 
You gotta have a title company, number seven. The title company knows how to put the transaction. I buy the property on day one. We put the $70,000 down that the loan guy gives us. So we're out of pocket zero, okay? The house is worth 400. He's buying it from me at the 250. You with me? So that's 50, that's 150,000. We give the 70,000 back to the loan shark plus is 10%, which is seven grand. Let's say we give him 80,000, that leaves 70,000 for the both of us. We net cash, 70,000. I have it in my account because he's, I'm buying it, he's buying it from me at the same time. Within minutes, we're there together in the title company. We got 70 grand. I only take 10%, uh, excuse me, 20% of this deal. I took 14, let's say 15, and he took the other 60, he took the other 55,000. So there's 70,000 left. Why did I give him the 55,000? So he ends up with a house, 55,000 in cash, and he put no money down himself. I ended up with 15,000 for doing the deal. Now you can reverse this deal and I'm on the other end. Okay, so here's a fast recap on this video that we just did because recaps kind of help people. Number one, you have to find the property at 30% below the appraised value, not the market value. The market value is what Zillow tells you it is. The appraised value is what an appraiser tells you it's worth. And you gotta pay the appraiser 50 or 100 bucks. Sometimes they'll find the properties for you because they just have to do very little work and they, they give you what's called a soft appraisal. So first you gotta get the property, number one. Number two, you gotta come in with the down money. You gotta come in with the money. If you don't have the cash yourself to purchase the property at 30% below, then you gotta find hard money lenders. So that's number two. Number three, you have to have an investor, someone who's going to buy the property from you. But the investor, that's number three, has to have good credit. Okay, so you, you get a good credit investor and you tell the investor, I'm going to give you the down money and when you buy the property, I'm going to give you cash back. Okay, so that's number three. Number four, we go to close the transaction. Let's go over the numbers again. The house is worth 400000 The appraiser says it's worth four. I'm buying at 30% below. That's two eighty, dollars right? I have to put the down money of 10%, so let's say 30,000 I have to put down, but the but the purchase price is 280. Okay, that's what I bought it for. I'm selling it to the investor for 400. I'm giving the investor 40 grand to put it down money. So that's my money. I get that back at closing. So, my purchase is 260, 280, I'm sorry. And they have a loan of 360. Okay? 280 minus 360 is 80 grand. At the end of the transaction, they didn't put any money down. I put all the money down, or I got a hard money lender to put the money down. There's $80,000, we split it $40,000 each. That's it. And this is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining me. That's a simultaneous close. No money down. We'll see you on the next video. Please comment. Thanks again for joining us.